afternoon, friends and family. If any of my family watches this or my friends, um, we are headed back up the mountain. We had another nap slash editing session slash uploading session um, for yesterday's video. And now we're going back after it. As you can see, maybe you can't see, it's raining. We've had a little bit of weather, um, which is nice to keep the dust down, but um, it also keeps the deer kind of bedded up, I think. Maybe that's why we're not seeing them. But we're gonna go back up to this place where we were this morning as well as yesterday morning where we got another deer. We haven't hunted in the evening yet, so we're gonna see how it is. See if we can glass up these deer or find that buck that Jesse jumped this morning. So we know there's some good bucks up here. It seems like the deer that we're finding on this unit are kind of few and far between, but when we do find them, it seems like they're bucks and there's some good bucks. So I think it's just a matter of time before we're in the right place at the right time and everything comes together for us. Anyway, let's go see what we can get done up here. And we're back. <laughs> we got up here to kind of where we walked off this morning and where Jesse saw that buck go down. And I think we're just gonna kind of get in the trees and the thick stuff and work around. Seems like the deer that we've been able to find, you know, a few of them have just been moving through the trees real slow. So kind of thinking we're just not gonna be able to catch them glassing. We're gonna have to hunt them, get after them a little bit. There's probably not a ton of deer here. The density's kind of low, but like I said before, I think the bucks are good, so. We're gonna work our way down. There's some open ridges down here below us and we'll work down through the trees and see if we can't catch something, maybe at dark, um, coming out on those ridges and just keep getting after them till we get her done. Not gonna stop, 200 or bust, or uh, 100 or bust, or um, freezer full meter bust, or bust. Another night in the books, you guys. We had a major success tonight. A major success. It's, it's, you know you're having kind of a tough hunt when you're fist bumping when you see does and fawns. We were excited to see some deer tonight. Saw a doe and a fawn. And uh, that's about all the good news we have for you. This country is just beautiful. It's just so weird. It's like almost bizarre to walk around in it because you think it should just be full of deer, but it's just not. Why are you focusing on you, Troy? Uh, we just got back up on the road. It's funny, it looks pretty light in that camera, but it's pretty dark right now. Shooting light's probably fast. We're gonna swing around and up to the truck and we're gonna go hit us some, some dinner and uh, go to bed. Get up, brainstorm. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump on the maps tonight, scout to hunt, and see what we can turn up for the morning. But we're gonna find them. It always takes a few days to figure stuff out on these units. We're, we'll find them. And if we don't, we'll just make up an excuse. morning guys it is day three today is Monday morning and we are headed back up we're gonna actually go to the same area um, there's this one stand of Quakey's where we saw bucks opening day and I'm gonna go walk down through and Troy's gonna pick me up on a lower road so that's kind of our game plan for the morning gonna drive a little ways to get there and then we're gonna hopefully get her done today and if not we got a game plan for the afternoon that we're gonna make so we'll see if we can get on some bucks I'm ready it's time I feel it I feel it you feel it Troy I feel some indigestion. All right, guys, we got up to the point, and today the game plan is that. Uh, so I'm going to dive off into this canyon right over here, and I'm going to walk down. Troy's going to drive down this beautiful paved road <laughs> that's a real piece of garbage, and he's going to pick me up at the bottom. So hopefully I can catch these deer. 
that we saw the other morning moving up out of the public and into the private. That's the game plan, that's the goal. This is kind of our last shot for now in this area. If this doesn't pan out, we're gonna go explore another spot, so. Wish us luck, even though this video happened two days ago. Wish us luck. Just kind of working my way down through these quakies and beautiful deer country tracks and signs. Just kind of mind blowing that there's no deer. Beautiful stuff. Just gonna work down to meet Troy at that bottom road, I guess. And if it doesn't pan out, we'll go uh, check out the other spot. But just glassed up a big buck. It's about 500 yards away. I think it's that same one the other morning. He's straddling the line. I think he's on public right now. We're gonna get over there. See if we can get a look at him in this shot. If he's on public, we'll shoot him. He's a big deer. I hope this works out. Well, got over here, got above the deer. There's seriously a 500 yard wide piece of private and that buck is just right in the middle of it and that's where he stays. He actually did spook and he might've gone out the other side, but it's a long ways around there. So there's a reason they get big and that deer is big. He's big, but looks like he's smarter than us. Staying in the private, wish we could hunt it it goes I'm gonna work my way down and meet Troy down at the road I guess so I'm picking down off of this hill almost down to the road and I was looking down and I was noticing how much deer crap there was at my feet just just deer sign everywhere in here I'm going down Troy's coming to pick me up I look down at the ground and BAM that's the first Colorado shed I've ever found um, I don't know if I dare touch it these things are more regulated than marijuana in this state uh, I better get a hard to see if I can pick it up or something I don't know I better just leave it I don't know I'm scared to touch it Troy show him what that door do look at this oh listen to that when we're scaring off the bowls so you saw in our other video the other morning when we were trying to look at that bowl trying to talk show those guys how to get on that elk the passenger side door of my truck was just like in the background the whole time. So we went and made a detour, got some WD-40, got her all cleaned up, and now it's nice and quiet. So we're back at the hotel. Um, as you can see, that's the hotel. And we're gonna go in and I'm gonna chop this video up. I'm gonna put it together and upload it for tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna probably take a nap and then we'll maybe head out a little bit earlier this afternoon since we're getting back to the room a little bit earlier. And we're gonna go explore a new wilderness area that I found on the map, a couple people told me to check out. Hopefully it'll be good and we'll be able to get on some deer, you know, the, re the regular thing. We're gonna try to find an area that's a little bit more deer dense because this one that we've been in has a very low deer density. But just to finish out today's video, I wanna say thanks to some people who bought apparel. You guys, we had orders rolling, rolling in the last couple days. And so I'm gonna thank some people. First one I wanna thank, Gavin Wilski. Thank you very much. I appreciate you buying some apparel. I um, also wanna thank Brant Sulcer. Trey Jones, Brianne Hendricks. Thank you guys very much. I wanna thank Chad, Chad Dotson. Is he city attorney? Something like that? He's a very prominent political figure. Thank you, Chad. Appreciate you buying my stuff, buddy. Zach Ferry. Um, I also wanna thank Morris Montevallo, Clayton Jenkins, Devin Segurant. Man, I probably butchered that one. Also wanna thank Tyler Kenyon um, and Aspen Hall. So I appreciate you guys buying my apparel. You guys is helping so much to have that money come in while I'm out here spending it fuel food but thank you guys for following along thank you guys for watching the series thanks for buying the gear and we will see you tomorrow